All right, for, so first, I want to talk about Angela had a near-death experience this morning. She, she was unconscious and dead for a couple of hours, and she relived from TLC, you know, from 90 Day Fiance. Um, the one that goes to Nigeria the, and has her husband, Mike. Um, I want to talk to her today, because Evan, she's not dead. She faked the death for you for a little bit. But you said you don't remember her, and she you remember you as well. But Angela, I remember her when I was younger. But anyway, her mom is missing, you know? And her mom said she died, and I know she wasn't that sick in that bed. Do you think your mom was that sick in the bed? <laughs> Where did she go? To the United States? No. To the Caribbean? No. To the United Kingdom? No. To Europe? No. To South America? She's in South America. She's in Bogota. Colombia. She had cancer, so she's stuck in the Bogota. The, she uses the date of birth, 7, 16, 1944. What name is she using? ACD, no, D. To the Diana, Darlene. Darlene, what? AD. To the Diana, Diana Bentley, no? Bender, no. Bender, no. Diana B A. A Spanish name, no English. Diana Baxter. B A X T R. She's using it. So you could call over there. She has an American bank account. No, she has a, the, a bank in Colombia. The bank of Bolivia. The bank. I don't know the bank. It's a local bank. She's, she she bought some. She rent a condo in the third tallest building in Bogota, in Center City. She lives in the seventh floor, you know. So you gotta start calling condo buildings. I don't know what to do with you anymore. All right, so I'm gonna <coughs> announce Chipotle. I'm very disappointed. Like, you know, some of my my workers are are very disappointed because they 87 percent of the job is to make salads all day. They're fed up with making salads, and I'm telling the guys, I don't know why you guys are eating so much salad. Chipotle is supposed to be a burrito taco place too, you know. That that's what it's supposed to really be. Cadoba sells more tacos, more burritos and tacos than we do. Sometimes I, we throw our seven to twelve dozen of um tacos and dozens of taco shells a month to throw, and that's a lot, you know, a week I to throw, because they, they get stale. Um, I, I need the guys yeah, to start eating uh, burritos like, yeah. and, and tacos, you know, but I, I, I get it, it's only three tacos, and I'm going to make the same meal for five tacos, you know, and a quesadilla meal, or a, a mega quesadilla kind of, a, a chips and um, a queso blanco meal, too. And you guys got to start eating, um, on burritos too, because salads are for girls at the ball, right? Mostly. We have so many salad places in New York, and you guys eat Chipotle salads every day. Um, I got a piece of Mary Kay and Ashley. You know, Mary Kay and Ashley are not our sisters, but they're not twins. They're a year apart. One is born on December 6, 1985, and December 8, 1985, and one is born on December 6, 1986. Um, they're not twins. One of them had a little baby ponytail. Like, ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> So you guys, you guys, you guys work for so much stuff, you know. Uh, I want to talk about the, the second state that had the first police station, which is New Jersey. The first police station in New Jersey was in 1978, 1972. But the, it was started, uh, composed of a police station of four people. It was the Cranford Police Department. Because Tony, the devil, needs protection. Tony, you too much. You had the first police department in Cranford, New Jersey, in 1982. Yes, we didn't have a lot of police. And anyway, that was the second police station, the second state with the police station in the United States of America was in 1982. The third state to have police was Florida, no. California, Florida, but it was um, Miami and South Beach. that had 12, seven police in South Beach in 1978. And then in 1979, California and Oakland was the fourth police station, state with the police station. Then in 1989, on, June, on, Jan, on December, the fifth police station was in California, no, it was in Chicago, Chicago Illinois. And, and then 1990, on January 1990, the seventh police station was in Texas, no, in Indiana, no, Ohio, Cincinnati, Ohio. And they're off. The first police station, and, and it was in 1972, 1970, in Rome, Italy. And from Rome, Italy, it was Paris, France in 1979. And from 1979, it was in 1982 in London, in London, England. Um, but for so many years, hundreds of years, police stations were not needed. Look at these policemen going crazy all around showing demonstrations, acting like they're better than you. And they're broke again. They hate rich people. They don't bother with broke people, but they hate rich people. Police all hate rich people. And people of power and smart people. So you know what we're getting at soon with this. Um, Alright, so PhDs, anyone know? Um, I'm over this. I don't want to talk about